okay uh, welcome viewers now in this video lecture uh, we want to learn the procedure for solving a linear homogeneous recurrence relation okay so consider consider this recurrence relation an equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 up to so on c k a n okay. consider this recurrence relation now this can be uh, expressed like this c n sorry a n minus 1 c1 a n minus 1 minus c2 a n minus 2 to so on minus c k a n minus k equal to g okay now uh, in order to solve this what we do we set a n equal to r raised to the power n okay so this then becomes r raised to the power n minus c1 r raised to the power n minus 1 minus c2 r raised to the power n minus 2 minus and so on minus c k r raised to the power n okay so see here what is the what is the minimum power okay the minimum power here is uh, uh, this this one r raised to the power n minus 2 so dividing it by it by r raised to the power n minus 2 okay so what do you get get r is the power n divided by r is the power n minus 2 c1 r is the power n minus 1 divided by r is the power n minus 2 and so on minus c k r is the power n minus k divided by r is the power n minus k equal to g okay so this then can be written as r is the power k minus c1 r is the power k minus so on c k equal to okay so see here that this is uh, this is uh, one equation okay uh, of degree k okay so as uh, this is a degree uh, this is an equation of degree k so it has it has it has k okay and this equation is called this equation is called a characteristic characteristic equation okay uh, now as uh, as the degree of this equation is k so it is it has k roots okay so case one if all the k roots are distinct okay mean all if all the roots are distinct like r1 r2 up to some rn okay then the solution it is expressed like this as c1 first root raised to power n plus c2 second root raised to power n and up to some cn r and uh, sorry r k r k these are the k roots that is r k raised to the power okay so if it has uh, uh, k roots uh, r1 r2 r k then its solution is expressed like this c1 r raised to the power n c2 r raised r2 raised to the power n cn r k raised to the power n okay uh, but it may happen that two roots uh, may repeat okay so this is case 2 case 2 if two roots are equal means r1 and r2 are equal and rest of the roots are distinct okay uh, then the solution is expressed like this c1 plus c2 n 
plus C2n. Okay, these are for the repeated root. Then root raise the power n. Okay, and for rest of the roots, you write the solution as such: C3 R3 raise the power n, and so on. C uh, Ck sorry, Ck uh, Ck Rk raise the power n. Okay, so likewise. Likewise, if three roots are same, then solution becomes C1, C2n plus C3n square. Okay, R1 raised the power n, C4, R4 raised the power n, and so on. C k. R k is the power. Okay, so in this way uh, we then write the solution. Okay, so uh, we learn uh, more about it uh, uh, with the help of uh, some examples. Okay, that how to solve the problems. So uh, I take very easy problems here. So question number one is solve the Recurrence ratio. Okay. For example, you have a n minus three times a n minus one plus two times a n minus two equal to one. Okay. Suppose you have this recurrence ratio. Okay. So first of all, write the equation. The given uh, recurrence. Relation is uh, a n minus three a n minus one plus two a n minus two equal to one. Okay, so find its order. Okay, so what is its order? The uh, order is the largest subscript minus smallest smallest subscript. Okay, so it is n minus n minus two. Okay, so what is the order? Order here is two. Okay. So, uh, in once we decide the order, then we can write its characteristic equation. So, its characteristic equation is uh, it is as the order is two. So, start here with from alpha square minus three alpha plus two equal to zero. Okay. Now, factorize this equation. Alpha square minus two alpha minus alpha plus two equal to zero. So alpha you can take common. Alpha minus two minus two you can take common. Alpha minus two equal to zero. So it is alpha minus one and alpha minus two equal to zero. So what are the values of alpha one and two? See roots are distinct. So the solution is C one one raised the power n. C two two raised the power n. This is the solution of the recurrence solution. I hope ki you people have learned this thing that how to find the solution of the recurrence solution. More about it will be discussed in the next video lecture.